Uh, welcome back to my channel. So normally on Wednesdays you will see me posting a workout video, but this week I decided to do something a little different for you guys. I am going to do a video on everything I wish someone would have told me, or at least most of the things I wish somebody would have told me about in the beginning of my fitness journey. What warnings I should know, because there's gonna be a lot of things that happen to you when you start getting healthy that you're not really expecting and you don't really understand and you're gonna learn your own your own things, your own way and your own journey but I'm just gonna give you my little things, my little tidbits that I learned. Everyone's going to have a different opinion on the right way, the right way to get to your goals. Everyone will tell you you need to be doing this. You need to work out this way. You need to eat this way. I heard my family member did this exercise or this program. This is what you should be doing. You're not doing that right. You're not doing that right. Don't argue. That's my biggest thing I'm going to tell you is not to argue with them. Because when you're first starting out, you need to be a sponge. You need to soak in all of the different ideas and ways people do things because all of us are different. All our bodies are going to react differently to different things. Just take everyone's ideas with a grain of salt. And if you want, and when you're ready and when it fits in with you, you can try those ideas, but don't get upset when people are going to tell you that their way is right because everyone has experienced throughout their own fitness journey, what's worked for them. And it doesn't always mean it's going to work for other people, but they're going to try to give you their advice whether it is nicely or it is pushed against you, but they're gonna give you their advice and just take it with a grain of salt, tell them thank you, and just appreciate for the tips. Write it down somewhere and then later, if it's not for you right now, you can try that later. Or you can just scoot it off saying, no thank you. Boom, another one. You have to want this for yourself and no one else. Like no one else. If you're doing this to get in shape or to look better for someone else other than yourself, I'm here to tell you it's not gonna last. If you want this healthy lifestyle that you are going for and you are deciding, I wanna live a healthy lifestyle, I want to get my body in shape, I wanna do this, I wanna do that, I wanna just even feel better. Not all about looks, I wanna feel better. You have to do it for yourself because it is not going to be easy and this has to be coming in from you. You have to decide today, this is what I wanna do with my life. I'm gonna do this for me and just keep going because at the times when it gets hard and you're crying because you can't you can't go out to Dairy Queen every night and you're like, I just really want that freaking blizzard, that Oreo blizzard sounds so bomb right now, or you just don't wanna to go to the gym and you're like, I don't wanna get out of bed, I don't feel like it. There's gonna be times where it's just emotional craziness and you just don't wanna do it. You need to remember why you're doing this. You need to remember, why did I start this? And you started this for yourself. So don't let yourself down and make sure to be true to yourself and it'll be a lot easier. Because if you're doing this for anyone else, it's not gonna work. But if you do this for yourself, that passion that you have, that's what's going to drive you and the thought of being true to yourself and doing something better for yourself, it's gonna work out in the long run. Moving along to what I was saying just a little bit ago, motivation is going to fade. It's not gonna be there. I will be the first to tell you that I am not motivated every freaking day to be like, yeah, let's go to the gym. Yeah, I really wanna eat those eggs and oatmeal. Yes, I love this because it's not always rainbows and sunshine. You're gonna have those hard days. Just remember to make yourself a priority ties in with the other one that I was just talking about, but just make sure that you have to make yourself your priority. Now, if you have kids, if you have a husband, if you are with other people and you love to make other people happy, that I'm not saying neglect other things, but what happens, at least in my experience with life, when we start loving and focusing on other people, we dim ourselves back. We don't really take care of ourselves. We put ourselves on the back burner to make other people happy. And while that's great, sometimes in a relationship to make the other person feel good, the other person, even if they're not a lover, they're your kids, they look up to you. And when you are focusing 
on yourself and making yourself better, you're gonna be an inspiration to the people around you. And it's actually going to make, as a whole, the relationship of wherever you're at better. So, think about that one. Do not put yourself on a stupid cleanse, fasting diet, um, all you can eat, just eat carrots for a week, um, take these fat burner pills and they're gonna do this all. Those infomercials and those things that are everything's quick and fast and easy and you're just gonna lose weight, don't do it. Please don't do it. Um, my biggest advice is to talk to a personal trainer, a coach, a nutritionist, or a friend, even your friends, like my friend helped me who has experienced all this stuff, into helping you get to where you want to be with your fitness, with your nutrition and your goals and helping you lay out a plan. Because the fast and easy way, it's not gonna be sustainable. There is a quote and it says, the faster you lose the weight, the faster you'll gain it back. And that is very true. Because fast and easy, you can drop 10 pounds in a week doing some kind of fad diet, but guess what? Give it a month. It's probably gonna come back. You have to make things a habit. It has to be a daily thing. So we all grew up, at least I know I grew up with this idea of at home, this is totally from my perspective, at home you eat the healthy meals but you always really want to go out to Taco Bell, you always really want to go to EG's and you want to sneak ice cream and you want to do all this stuff because that's what everyone does. Like, that's what we grew up watching. Like we go to the movies and we eat popcorn and giant ices and you know everything's fast and easy and we don't want to cook so when we go I go to college called the freshman 15 where we're all like woohoo like ramen and like all this different stuff we didn't at least I didn't take it into heart and into the fact that maybe all these easy fast food places aren't the best thing to eat and just because it is cheap you know how you go girls for nails you don't want to go to a cheap 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 place because then you're gonna get what you paid for and for guys you don't want to, let's see, hmm, for guys, what do guys like, hair, haircuts? You don't want to go to a cheap, 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 cheap haircut place, unless you're, unless you're shaving your whole head, then you don't care, but if you have this, like, I want a, a two, a number of this, a number of that, and this and this, you want to go to someone who's going to know what they're doing and quality is better, so you're okay with spending a little bit more money for that. Think about with our food. We, the dollar menu, we're gonna get what we're paying for. Your body is like a little machine. And you put in crap, you're gonna feel like crap. You put in nutrients and whole foods and healthy foods, you're gonna have so much energy, everything's gonna start just <sighs> different things are gonna happen. Like good things. If I do this in my hands, does it make it better? You're going to, but basically you guys get, you're going to get what you put in. So spend a little bit more money on the healthier food and really shop right. I'll do a food haul, grocery haul. It's not that expensive. Secret, it's not that expensive. No, it's not. Trust me, it's more than a dollar, but it's worth it. It's your life. Also, I wanted to say, if you guys didn't know, food is an addiction. There is a lot of people like me who are emotional eaters. And when something bad happens in our life, at least in my life, I like to turn to food and chocolate. And sometimes I've been known, you know, even alcohol, not saying alcoholic, but it's just you crave the bad things because you want to fill a void in whatever's going on negatively in your life. And so that is what you crave and that is what's going to happen. So food and is an addiction. So when you start this journey, make sure to remember you're going to have withdrawals. This is going to be an emotional draining roller coaster because you are trying to trick your brain into learning something new. Saying, yes, this is what I would always do, but I need to find a new outlet. Yes, this is what I would always do, but I can't eat that way. Yes, this is what I always do, but I shouldn't be drinking this. I should drink this instead. So, just a heads up. Five, six, five. 
Who knows at this point, Anne-Marie? <laughs> Starving yourself is not going to get you skinny. In fact, it is going to do the opposite. So, when you want to lose weight, you will learn when you're eating healthy, you're actually going to be able to eat a lot more than you most likely are eating right now. Just a tidbit. I can get on nutrition another video, but I had to throw that one in there. Do not starve yourself. When you starve yourself, you're actually making your body think it's going into starvation mode where it's going to start storing fat. And instead of making yourself skinnier, because theoretically we think all these skinny women don't eat, it's actually just going to do the opposite and hold on to your fat. Then give it a healthy way to burn it off. So, six. The gym is a safe place. Now you're probably laughing at me if you don't go to the gym. You're like, no it's not. There's guys that grunt. There's girls that lift like crazy and they're skinny and they're models and oh my god, I can't, I can't go. I can't go because I'm gonna be judged. And trust me, are you, are you done drinking? This is not a time to eat, Riley. Okay, we're, we're filming. So the gym is a safe place, <laughs> okay? So when I first started dating a guy who went to the gym, aka my boyfriend, I didn't want to go. I was like, that's just not my thing. I'm more of like a class group setting where you know they tell you what to do, like Zumba. Zumba's really fun, and I'm just not up for it. And he goes, just come. So what did I do? I started just doing cardio. I was terrified of the weights. I was terrified of what people thought about me. I was terrified that people were going to be like, hey, you're doing it wrong. I was afraid of being judged. Trust me when I tell you, everyone at the gym cares only about themselves at the gym. We are all as a group going to the gym to work on bettering ourselves. The only per people staring at you either think you're drop dead beautiful and just want to wow like for a second like oh hello you're you're beautiful or they're like hey like i've done this what is she doing because i want to do that workout and i'll try to like creepily be like how is she doing that because i want to learn that but otherwise everyone's in the zone and if you ask anyone like hey i need a spot or have you used this machine before I recommend with that one going to a trainer, but if you feel more comfortable, just heads up. Nine out of 10 people are gonna help you and they're not gonna judge you and they're not gonna make you feel like an idiot because we all started not knowing what the frick we were doing at the gym. Ooh, a good thing I always tell myself in the gym, the attitude. So I'm going to give you something to put into your mind that is going to give you a shield when you get afraid at the gym. Ready for it? This is the secret. It's a secret. It's a secret. <laughs> so weird. Um, this is what I think about every time I go to the gym and I'm not feeling 100% confident. This is exactly what I tell myself. See me, look at me now. Right? I walk in the gym, I'm like, look at me now. I just exude, like, watch me, right? Watch me. People are gonna, people are gonna see you, well, clearly, because we're all, we all have eyes. And you know what I say to myself? They can stare at me now, but I can't wait until they see me three months from now. So I want them to see me now, because I want them to see my growth in three months. So watch me, because I'm gonna do this. Number eight. I think number eight. Netflix and chill will always be more enticing than going to the gym. I don't need to explain that one. Number nine. Do not overdo it. Okay, so what I tell you, what I've been telling you on this video is make a habit. You have to make your healthy lifestyle a habit. You have to do it daily. Put in work daily on yourself. Yourself will thank you later. But 
what can happen is if you get overly focused, right, on I need to be different, I need to make myself healthy, this is going to be, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, and you start making this this giant thing, you can ball into overdoing it, and you can actually hurt yourself and stride away from your goals, overdoing it to try to get to your goals. So, just breathe, it's gonna be cool, you're gonna go through ups and downs, you're gonna make mistakes, don't kill yourself trying to say, I'm gonna go to the gym for three weeks and I'm gonna be buff. Muscles need time to grow. They need rest days, not a lot of rest days. Don't get under, but don't go over because you don't wanna hurt yourself and not be able to go to the gym or not be able to even go to work. Number nine. When you start living a healthy lifestyle and you start treating your better, what? When you start living a healthy lifestyle and when you start treating your body better and feeling it with the proper nutrition and giving yourself activities to do and making yourself get those endorphins, you're going to start thinking clearer. Yeah, you are. You're gonna have better memory. You're gonna think clearer. You're going to um, have healthier nails and hair. So everyone, that sees me, that hasn't seen me in a few months, they're like, your hair got so much longer since I saw you last. And it's, you know, it's because I keep eating healthy. When I wasn't eating as healthy, my hair was not growing as fast. And it wasn't as shiny. And it wasn't as healthy. And well, bam. <sighs> you want hair girl ladies? Start eating healthy. Also, your skin will start clearing up a lot. It is insane. I, I was never one, I, to have a lot of acne after Accutane because I did go on Accutane when I was in high school and that just, phew, careful with that stuff, that is, that is harsh. Um, but it clears up your skin and I would have still a little bit of like, you know, discrepancies on my face here and there and then I wouldn't like this and it was never smooth and it was never glowing and now I rarely see a pimple. And when I do see a pimple, you know what happens? It's because I binged on sugar. <laughs> I binged on the negative food that I know I shouldn't be putting in my body and my body reacted and broke out. That is the only time I ever get breakouts now. Number 10, say goodbye to your favorite jeans. Just, bye. It was, it was really nice, all those times we had together. <sighs> Rip, RIP. Because you're going to start hating jeans. When you start getting into the gym and you start working out, your body is going to start taking a different shape than you have right now. Whether it's your waistline getting smaller, your butt getting bigger, your thighs getting bigger, it's gonna be difficult to find a good freaking pair of jeans. So, leggings are going to be your best friend. Yoga pants, whew, they show what you've been working on. Definitely nice, they're comfortable AF. And also, you can find them at Plato's Closet. I feel like most of you guys have a Plato's Closet in the States, at least around me. I live in Arizona. I know Texas has them. California has them. I believe California has them. If you don't know Plato's Closet is, it's a nicer version of like a twice as nice or a thrift store where you get gently used clothes. Go there. There's always yoga pants. You can find Lululemons for $30 that are like brand new. Just tip, girls. And anyways, I get everything from Plato's Closet. This is not sponsored from Plato's Closet, but hey, Plato's Closet. Just know, you're not gonna fit in your clothes, right, anymore. But what I'm going to warn you is save one pair of jeans, one pair of pants, because what is going to happen is we are all human, and it's happened to me multiple times where I'm on track, I'm doing great, I'm dropping the weight or whatever my goal is, or I'm building butt here and doing this here. Life happens, stuff happens, you can get injured, a family member passes away, things, life happens, okay? You can revert and you can actually go backwards, whether you mean to or not, but you know, sometimes our emotions go in the way and you can accidentally gain the weight or lose what you've built and you're gonna be missing, like, dang, I don't have anything that fits me now because I'm not working as hard as I was and now these clothes are too small. You don't want to go through that mental process of I have to go buy a bigger pair of pants now because this doesn't fit me anymore, crap. You know what I'm saying? I'm saving you from this. Just save 
one pair of pants for that reason and also for a better reason for your before and after pictures when you get to your goal. <sighs> Number 10, 11, 10. Your body needs water. Okay, I am the hugest person, biggest person. I am the worst person when it comes, I used to be the worst person when it comes to water. I would barely drink a glass. I don't have a glass. I would be lucky to drink this glass in a day. Like this amount of water, I'd be lucky to drink it in a day. I hated water. Doctors used to yell at me all the time and I'm like, meh. I don't like water, just water doesn't taste good, it's just meh. Water is your best friend when you are in life. It's not even healthy, it is. Water is your best friend, it clears out your toxins that you're putting in your body. So if you're eating like crap, you know how you're hungover, you need to drink water? It's because it's good for you, it's always good for you. Oh, it's good for you, drink that water. Also, fun fact, your body sends you hunger cues when it is dehydrated. So. You might not actually be freaking hungry. You might just need to drink a glass of water. Just a tip. Fun fact. Number 11. Healthy food tastes good. When people say that healthy food doesn't taste good, you don't know how to cook yet. Trust me. I still don't know how to cook yet, so I'm not making fun of anyone that doesn't know how to cook yet because I still make the plainest, 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 boring, weird stuff and that's probably why I haven't felt comfortable putting out a meal prepping video for you guys yet. When I figure out something bomb.com, I'm gonna send it out there. But I have my friends who eat healthy and who make these amazing beautiful dishes where I'm like, oh, this is healthy? Like this tastes, what? What? You gotta research, do your research, take time. All healthy food is not disgusting and you don't always have to eat Brussels sprouts and broccoli. That's a positive, right? Probably the most important one, I feel, that I wish I learned, but I learned probably within the first year, is you're not alone. We are all striving to be better in our lives. Whether it is out on the surface and we are seeing people do it, or it is deep, deep in there, we're not alone. We all want to be the best version of ourselves. I truly believe that. And whether it is healthy, fitness, fit, like how we look, we're all striving to be better. Better, 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 better. So, you're not alone. There's a lot of people out there going through the same struggles and the same, have the same aspirations. And don't ever feel alone at the gym. Don't ever feel alone. I can't do this because I have no one to support me. You have me. I'm going to leave this open whether you guys want to or not because I know it's really intimidating and I've always been really intimidated to message out and reach out to somebody. If you message me privately or if you comment down below and you are someone who just needs someone to help motivate them, I will be that person for you. I will send you a text, morning, get your day started, don't forget your water. Anything like that because it honestly helps having someone having someone help you day and day, it does help. So you're not alone. You're not alone at all. Don't ever feel alone. You have all of us on YouTube who, you just search motivation. You wanna know how I discovered some of the girls that I look up to the most in my entire life was YouTube. And I looked up, I think I typed in, how do I not give in to my cravings? Boom. Like five different women popped up with all their different motivational speeches and all the different things. So YouTube is a great community to get your motivation and get your oomph back. So I can be there for you. Talk to your friends. Talk to your mom. Talk to your dad if you don't have that. Talk to anyone. Just reach out because trust me, it's going to be a roller coaster, but it's so worth it in the end. <sighs> Last thing I've learned that has helped me the most throughout my entire fitness journey is figure out your goal, write it down, and hang it on your mirror. It could be a picture of, hey, I want my glutes to be this big, I'm gonna stare at it every day. I'm gonna show you. Boom, see that? Beautiful, 
Oh, snap. Karina, Karinel, Karinel. Here's Whitney. Things that I want in my life, that I have my goals, on my phone. I have them on my screensaver so I can stare at it every day and be my own cheerleader. Make post-it notes around your room. Make them, when you wake up, that's the first thing you see. You got this. Make little notes, you got this. Time to wake up. Go to the set alarms. You know, a lot of people don't like to wake up early. If I had to go to the gym, I'd have to wake up like an hour early, it just sucks. I have like 12 different alarms. So make those 12 different alarms count. Say, hey, you're beautiful. Hey, guess what, get up. Guess what, like, you need to do this. We believe in you. Just make those awesome positive comments and have them surrounding your house. Having that positive atmosphere, even though it's not coming from someone else, seeing that and having your brain read it, it's gonna help you with your goals. So, let me know if you guys like this video. Please give me a thumbs up. Also, subscribe. You thought I forgot down there. The little box, hit that little button for me. And you know, if you guys wanna comment down below, I'd love to hear your feedback. And if you guys wanna be extra notified when I make an awesome video, click the little bell, ding, right there. Be extra notified when I make these weird awesome-ish videos. I'd love to hear if this helped anyone. I've had really fun made time making it, making a fool of myself to myself to a camera. See you next week.